Hello children, in this session we will newly learn about estimating the sum by rounding of the numbers to the nearest 10 and rounding of the numbers to the nearest 100. Before going to the topic, let us recall about rounding of numbers. Children, look at the picture and count how many marbles are there in the jar. Yes, there are over 10 marbles. So we can count the exact number of marbles in the jar. Children, in this slide, can you guess exactly how many marbles are there in the jar? Yes, we cannot guess exactly how many marbles are there. But we can say approximately that there are over 300 to 400 marbles in the jar. Let me ask you a question. What is rounding of numbers? Yes. Rounding of numbers is an approximate value and not the actual value. As we have already learned, rounding of numbers to the nearest 10 and to the nearest 100. First, let us recall rounding of numbers to the nearest 10. To round off a number to the nearest 10, we must first check the digit at the ones place. Step 1. If the digit at the ones place is 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4, change the ones digit to 0, keeping the other digits same. In the given example, round 162 to the nearest 10. So the first step is, find the number in the ones place, that is 2. 2 is less than 5. So we must change the ones digit to 0 and keeping the other digits same. Therefore, 162 round off to the nearest 10 is 160. Step 2. If the digit at the ones place is 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, that is 5 or greater than 5, add 1 to the tens digit and change the ones digit to 0. Let us understand this with an example. Round 276 to the nearest 10. First, you must find the number in the ones place, that is 6. So, 6 is greater than 5. Hence, we must add 1 to the tens digit and change the ones digit to 0. Therefore, 276 round off to the nearest 10 is 280. Next, let us recall rounding of numbers to the nearest 100. For rounding of numbers to the nearest 100, check the digit at the tens place. Step 1. If the tens digit is 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4, that is less than 5, change both the tens and ones digit to 0, keeping the other digits same. Let us see an example, round 427 to the nearest 100. First, Find the number in the tens place in 427, that is 2. So, 2 is less than 5. Now, change both the tens and ones digit to 0, keeping the other digits same. So, 427 round off to the nearest 100 is 400. Step 2. If the tens digit is 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9 that is 5 or greater than 5 add 1 to the hundreds digit and change both the tens and ones digit to 0. Let us understand this with an example round 578 to the nearest hundred. First you must find the number in the tens place in 578 that is 7. So 7 is greater than 5. Now you must add 1 to the hundreds digit and change both the tens and ones digit to 0. Hence 578 round off to the nearest hundred is 600. Children, today's topic is estimating the sum by rounding of numbers to the nearest 10. Let us go and understand this topic. Are you ready? Example 1. Estimate the sum of 613 and 204 by rounding of the numbers to the nearest 10 and also find the actual sum. 
first let us find the actual sum here the two addends are arranged in their respective place values in column method as we have already learned the steps how to perform addition now add 613 and 204 step 1 add the ones that is 3 ones plus 4 ones equals 7 ones step 2 add the tens that is 1 ten plus 0 ten equals 1 ten step 3 add the hundreds that is 600 plus 200 equals 800 so the sum is 817 now let us find the estimated sum of the same addends by rounding of numbers to the nearest 10 so the first addend is 613 children as we know already that we must first check the digit at the ones place that is 3 so 3 is less than 5 now change the ones digit to 0 keeping the other digits same hence we round off 613 to the nearest 10 is 610 the second addend is 204 similarly find the number in the ones place that is 4 so 4 is less than 5 now change the ones digit to 0 keeping the other digits same hence we round off 204 to the nearest 10 is 200 children now let us add the estimated numbers that is 610 and 200 in the column method first arrange the numbers in the column method and then add step 1 add the ones that is 01 plus 01 equals 01 step 2 add the tens that is 110 plus 010 equals 110 step 3 add the hundreds place that is 600 plus 200 equals 800 so the estimated sum is 810 so the actual sum of 613 and 204 is 817 and the estimated sum of 613 and 204 is 810 hence we observe that estimated sum is lesser than the actual sum example 2 estimate the sum of 816 and 522 by rounding off the numbers to the nearest 10 so 816 round off to the nearest 10 is 820 so 522 round off to the nearest 10 is 520 So the estimated sum is 820 plus 520 is equal to 1340. Actual sum is 816 plus 522 is equal to 1338. Here the estimated sum is close to the actual sum that is greater than the actual sum. Next let us see estimating the sum by rounding off numbers to the nearest 100. Example 1 Estimate the sum of 525 and 268 by rounding of the numbers to the nearest 100 and also find the actual sum first let us find the actual sum so now add 525 and 268 step 1 add the ones that is 5 ones plus 8 ones equals 13 ones or 1 ten and 3 ones so we would carry over 1 ten to the tens place and 3 ones would stay in the ones place step 2 add the tens that is 2 tens plus 6 tens equals 8 tens plus the one we carried over from the ones place equals 9 tens step 3 add the hundreds that is 500 plus 200 equals 700 hence the sum is 793 
Now let us find the estimated sum of the same addends by rounding off the numbers to the nearest hundred. So the first addend is 525. As we know already that while rounding off to the nearest hundred, we must check the digit at the tens place. When we check the digit at the tens place of 525, that is 2. So 2 is less than 5. Now change both the tens and ones digit to 0. Hence 525 round off to the nearest 100 is 500. Next the second addend is 268. First check the digit at the tens place of 268 that is 6. So 6 is greater than 5. So Add 1 to the hundreds place and change both the tens and ones digit to 0. Hence 268 round off to the nearest hundred is 300. Now arrange the estimated numbers that is 500 and 300 in the column method and then add. Step 1. Add the ones place. That is 0 1 plus 0 1 equals 0 1. Step 2. Add the tens. That is 0 10 plus 0 10 equals 0 10. Step 3. Add the hundreds. That is 500 plus 300s equals 800s. So the estimated sum is 800. Now let us observe the actual sum of 525 and 268 that is 793 and the estimated sum of 525 and 268 that is 800. So we observe that the estimated sum is greater than the actual sum. Example 2 Estimate the sum of 461 and 223 by rounding off numbers to the nearest 100 and also find the actual sum. First, we have to find the actual sum. So, we will write the numbers one below the other and add them. When we add 461 and 223, we will get the answer as 684. Now, let us find the estimated sum. The tens digit of the first number is 6. 6 is greater than 5. So, rounding off 461 will become 500. And the tens digit of the second number is 2. 2 is less than 5. So, rounding off 223 will become 200. When we add 500 plus 200, we get 700. So, the estimated sum 700 is greater than the actual sum 684. Hope you all understood the concept. Thank you children.